Spencer, I cannot put into words the immense and unwavering love I have for you. From the first moment we met on that crazy St. Patrick's Day in Baltimore, I knew you were the woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. These past two years have put our relationship to the test, but through the thousands of airline miles, hundreds of days apart, and countless hours of FaceTime calls, our love for each other always stayed true. I promise to be the best husband, partner, father, and best friend you will ever hope for as we begin this new journey. In your arms and by your side, I know I can do anything. I'm proud to call you my wife. Tim, finally made it. <laughs> Since the moment I met you, I felt a certain kind of calm, as if everything was going to be great. I have cherished all the moments that we've had together. I'm so incredibly happy to say that I'm yours. I will cheer you on in every dream, and I will always put you first and give you my absolute best through the rest of my days. I love you so much. I love you so much. Try to be cool. No, no chance. No chance. By the power vested in me through the Universal Life Church online ministry, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. about four years old, I have hammered into him that life is like a meal. If you want to have a good meal, you have to take time to prepare it. I must have said that to him a thousand times. So what I'd like to say now, you did it. <laughs> you did it, and look, look around you. I mean, you did it.